Hi, my name is Jenny Martin. I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab, and I'm also one of the doctor preppers for Prep and Data. Now that's the data set that we're going to be using today, but what are we going to be doing? We're going to be looking at how to use the data interpreter in Tableau Prep. Now you may be familiar with the data interpreter within Tableau Desktop, and you'll be pleased to know that it's a similar kind of functionality. Uh, but when do we need to use it? So if we have a look at Prep and Data 2019 week two, then you will see that we have um, a data set here. And if I just open it up for you in Google Sheets, Excel, um, then you will see that we've got two tables that have the same headings, but they're kind of stacked on top of each other, separated by a little bit of blank space. So realistically, this is one table. We could just remove sort of these three rows here um, and then we would have one table. But let's see how Tableau Prep reads that in, shall we? So if I head on over to Tableau Prep, um, I'm going to open up my file explorer so that I can so that I can just drag this on into Tableau Prep and we'll see how it opens, shall we? So it opens up as sheet one. If we add in a clean step to just have a look at that, then we can see that we've got ah, in our metric field, we've got the word metric. And if I click on that, then we can see that that whole row is just a repetition of the column headers. So how could we go about getting rid of that? First of all, I'm just going to delete these inputs and I'm going to click here and I'm going to say use the data interpreter. So just check that box and then you can see how we went from having this one input here, the sheet one, to now we've got sheet one with um, some a couple of different tables. So let's have a look at those two different tables. So I'll just zoom out again. I'll drag in the first table with the little magnifying glass, you know, the table that it's found. Um, and if I hit a clean step on that, then you can see that we've only got those London city values in this data input. If I drag on the next one, then you will see that we only have the Edinburgh values. Now, what we could do to further clean up this data set to combine it would be we could just union these two values together now, um, and that would have the desired um, output. Obviously, there's much more cleaning to do, and please do check out the challenge if you're interested in continuing on with this um, particular example. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you feel much more confident with using the data interpreter to clean up your Excel files now. Please do subscribe to the channel, check out our previous video which is all about removing data when you're inputting, and stick around for our next video which is all about sampling data in Tableau Prep. So thank you for watching.